Hello everybody and welcome to Just Football as I'm going to be covering the latest transfer news in the DSTV Premiership. Now if you're new on Just Football, kindly click on the subscribe button as we upload similar content every week. I'm going to be talking about Pizzo Musimani and more and many more. First I want to talk about Pizzo Musimani. Pizzo Musimani is trying to lure Gaston Serino to his new side, Al Weda, which does not come as a surprise because we know how much Pizzo Musimani appreciates Gaston Serino as a player. He also tried to sign the player while he was still at Al Ahi, but now I'm told he will try again to sign Gaston Serino for his new side, Al Weda. Now, this is coming in from the kickoff in the last hour that Pizzo Musimani will try to lure Gaston Serino to Al Weda with a big money move. Now, I'm told a bid is is coming in from Al Alwera to Mamelodi Sundowns in the coming few days. Even though I am not sure on exactly when that bid will be coming in, but they will try to sign this player because Bizumu Simani has outlined how important this player is to his plans. We know Gaston Serino and Bizumu Simani. There is some kind of a love story there, and I'm also told Gaston Serino would be willing would be willing to join uh, Bizumu Simani wherever Bizumu Simani is. We know he, Gaston Serino was on strike last time. He tried to put in a transfer request when Bizumu Simani was still in, uh, at Al Ahly, but that move did not materialize. Whether or not a move will materialize this time will surely depend on Ronaldo Mokwena who sees Gaston Serino as an important player. We have seen him using him more and more towards the end of the season. Now, whether he's still an important player after the latest signings, we wait to see. But the signing of Junior Mendieta by Mamelodi Sundowns may have well opened the way for Gaston Serino to leave the club. But that situation will be resolved in the next few weeks. Gaston Serino will decide whether he wants to leave or whether he wants to remain at Mamelodi Sundowns. But his contract is expiring at the end of the 2023-2024 season anyway. So now, the next player I want to talk about, again, still at Mamelodi Sundowns, I want to talk about Karela Mayele. Karela Mayele is linked with a move to Mamelodi Sundowns. We know Karela Mayele was the top goal scorer in his uh, league, which I think is the Kenyan Premier League. He was the top goal scorer there. He was also the top goal scorer in the CAF Confederation Cup. So he is one of the most sought after strikers in the league. And all Mamelodi Sundowns are trying to get a player who can compete with Peter Shalili. Because of what happened last season, Mamelodi Sundowns feel like it is important for them to have another striker who can score the goals when Peter Shalili underperforms or when he experiences an injury but one thing that scared Mamelodi Sundowns was that big big injury to Peter Shalili which kept him out for most of the season or last season so they want someone else to come in who can guarantee goals and I'm told that is going to be Kalala Mayele. Mamelodi Sundowns will go for Kalala Mayele and the player is aware of the interest. Last week uh, the player Kalala Mayele I'm told he rejected a very very big bid from a big contract offer from young Africans. That offer is said to have been around 263,841 rands per month. That is a huge, huge uh, offer that he rejected. So he is expecting to get a little bit more out of Mamdi Sanders. We know teams from the STV Premiership, the top teams pay a lot more. So Kalala Maile to Mamdi Sanders, that is a possibility. We must keep out. Uh, keep a look on uh, look out for that because now I'm told Kalala Maile young Africans are willing to make a deal for Kalala Maile because they know they are going to lose the player for nothing if he remains there for one more season because he has told them that he is not going to be signing a new contract so young Africans are willing to sell but we know Kalala Maile has also been linked with a move to KC Chiefs but whether a move to KC Chiefs is still uh, viable after they signed Ranga Chivaviro we wait to see but at the moment the one team that is definitely going for Kalala Maile is Mamluri Sundowns whether they get him or not we wait and see another player still at Mamluri Sundowns is Kif Mutuba I'm told Kif Mutuba is the next player who is going to be leaving Mamluri Sundowns in this transfer window and Kif Mutuba is also linked with a move to Polo Kwanis City, the new DSTV Premiership boys. Now, whether I move to that team will materials will see because Kevin Mutuba would like to wait and see if there are other big offers coming in. But at the moment, Kevin Mutuba has an offer from Bolguani City. Now, his departure from Mamelodi Sundowns will be confirmed uh, timelessly, I'm sure, in this week. Surely he has to be released so he can resolve his future as well. And again, um, if you missed it, Mamelodi Sundowns have released Liseri Kapinga. Liseri Kapinga is currently a free agent and is looking for a new club. But I'm told Mamelodi Orlando Pirates are keen on the player even though they have to go back to the drawing board but i made a video on that if you want to know more on the situation of Liseri Kapinga, you can watch the video that i uploaded earlier and then moving on from mamduri sanaos i want to talk about the situation of kamabilat kamabilat and kirsis 
talks are still ongoing but i'm told case chiefs are becoming impatient of negotiations with kama billiard now it looks like kama billiard may leave cases and today he was not part of the training squad that may mean something or nothing but then he was not a part of the training squad and cases are becoming impatient because kama billiard is reluctant to take a wage cut in order for him to remain at amakosi but now how the situation will be will end we wait and see but kama billiard's future has to be resolved in this week as well because the player also has to have some time to resolve his future in case is released by Kaiser Chiefs but also I'm told young Africans would like to sign Kama Billiard but young Africans as a, they have a problem because there is a fever pen that may be implemented so the fever pen thing is still pending but then it's not yet confirmed so they are wary on that situation if fever pen is implemented it means they may not be able to get their men so they may have to keep Kalala Mayele for one more season even though they are going to lose him for free instead of having no striker at all so they are looking at Kama Billiard whether they will get him or not that will depend on the negotiations between Kama Billiard and Keza Shield again the next player I want to talk about I'm going now to Orlando Pirates Orlando Pirates are still locked also in talks with Chaba Monare we know the situation of Tamam Monari is not an easy one. Tamam Monari has uh, was released you know, by Orlando Pirates. That was just an official thing, a formality. I'm told that was just a formality. The re reason Tamam Monari was a part of those players who were released by Mam Orlando Pirates on the 30th of June. It was just a formality because officially his contract was coming to an end. But we know Jose Rivero likes the player. He likes Tabang Monari very well and he feels like Tabang Monari is a very important player for his project. We saw and we've seen how important he was last season. And now as things stand, Tabang Monari and Orlando Pirates are still negotiating. And Tabang Monari has told those at Orlando Pirates that he's going to give them the priority and respect that they deserve. He's going to stay put and he's not going to negotiate with any other team until there is a decision reached with Orlando Pirates. But now the issue there is the issue of wages. Tabang Monari would like to get a wage increase and then Orlando Pirates I'm told the deal that is on the table Tamam Manari is not happy with that deal so he would like a little bit more so I'm sure the two parties may reach a middle ground this week I'm told is crucial because Tamam Manari would like to have time also to make decisions on his future and so guys tell me what you think about the situation between Peter Musimani trying to sign uh, Gaston Serino from Mamluri Sundowns and again, Karala Maile linked with a move to Mamluri Sundowns. Mamluri Sundowns are releasing Gift Motupa and Lesedi Kapinga and also contract talks between Kamabilat and Kezeshis and Tawang Monare and Mawa Orlando Pirates. Give me your thoughts on this latest transfer news. Thank you very much for watching. Click a like on the video if you enjoyed this video and also subscribe if you're a new visitor.